Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I am still out and about. I am in Evergreen Cemetery in New Haven, Connecticut, and I am here with the man who made the gun that won the West, Oliver Winchester. He is best remembered for marketing, manufacturing marketing the Winchester repeating rifle, which has gained the reputation as the gun that won the West. He began his business career as a clothing manufacturer in New York City, New York, and New Haven, Connecticut. During this period, he discovered that a division of Smith & Wesson Firearms was failing financially with one of their newly patented arms. Eager for an opportunity to capitalize on the firearms market, he and other stockholders acquired the division, better known as the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company, in 1850. By 1857, he had positioned himself as the principal stockholder in the company and relocated to New Haven, changing the name to New Haven Arms Company. Plagued by sluggish sales, which was in part attributed to the design and poor performance of the volcanic cartridge, he inherited a, a brilliant engineer, Benjamin Tyler Henry, who would approve an invaluable asset. Henry sought to improve on the volcanic repeating rifle by enlarging the frame and magazine to accommodate the seven to accommodate 17 of his newly redesigned all-brass case 44 caliber rimfire cartridges. The new cartridge revolutionized the firearms industry, putting the new company on the map. Henry's ingenuity was rewarded with a patent in his name in October 1860 for what was to become the famous Henry Watt rifle. Following the success, the company was reorganized once more and renamed the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. So, needless to say, this guy uh, got his act together. So that is the main uh, marker. And it looks like he is over here. Let's take a look. He is buried here with other members of his family. This is a family plot. Jane Ellen Hope, wife of Oliver Winchester, born in Portland, Maine, December 28, 1807, died in this city March 23rd, 1898. Looks like we got some leaves and stuff. Let's take a look at some of the other members of the family. This is what I believe is members of the family. So let's take a look around. As you can see, you got quite the uh, nice little view. It's actually not too far from the entrance in the office. Now he had a cousin who uh, not interred here, but just a few feet down, who is a bit of a, a character. You know, I don't want to be one to make fun of uh, uh, the mentally ill, but this woman was so upset with what Oliver did that she had a house and she kept building on it uh, in order to fend off the uh, spirits of those that the Winchester rifle, uh, the, the lives that the, that took. So let's take a look at that. Very nice looking marker. Husband William Wirt. Looks like the start of a web page, doesn't it? And there she is, Sarah Lockwood, party 
Winchester. Nice marble bench. So, with all that interesting history, that is the man, Oliver Winchester, the man that uh, they say won the West. And in all honesty, he was a guy that saw and had an opportunity and, uh, well, made a bang of it. See what I did there? All right, well, that'll do it for this video. A little longer than usual, but it's kind of worth it. Nice little history. United States history should always be interested in U.S. history. So, if you like this video, please uh, like it, share it, uh, please subscribe uh, for more. And uh, also ring the bell, because you never know when I'm going to post, what I'm going to post, or what have you. So, with all that being said, I'm off to my next stop, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!